Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. So, I told you today I'll be doing a uh, get ready with me. Not a tutorial, just, you know, my basic makeup routine. Um, I'm actually on my way to a baby shower. So, I'm just doing something, 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 something. So, both camera, I did my brows and my lids because um, it takes a lot of time to do this. Well, not a lot of time, but a lot of camera time. So, I decided I'm going to do a brow tutorial. Um, that's probably going to be my next video because I realized, well, I, I, I'm new, but the eyebrows for different occasions i do different type of brows so my brows may be looking you know they look different in certain pictures that i do certain pictures that i take so um right now i'm just going to do my face yeah let's get into it i'm not sure if i'm gonna leave the video um voice on this or if i'm gonna do a voice over and just you know go in so my foundation I'm using is Fenty. I do a mix of drugstore and um you know I don't know if the word is high end. <laughs> uh, name brand. I'ma say name brand and store uh makeup because it's just certain products that I'm just not gonna get rid of because I like it. You know, at Fenty right now, it's been doing the job for me. So if I'm bending down and getting stuff, it's just because I'm my products is in my makeup uh, makeup bag. So if I have a client, I'm obviously going to use what I use on myself. I'm not going to give my client something I wouldn't put on my own face. So like I said. I'm going in with my Fenty. Now, the thing with hair lines, right? You see how it's separate colors? Now, some people work their makeup into their hairline, especially if you're doing like a ponytail or like when me, I have braids. I know I'm putting, you know, gel around this. Me personally, I'm putting it up in there because you don't want, you know, that two tone situations. But one day I'm going to do um, no makeup look basically something I would do because I don't wear makeup every day anymore I used to when I first started doing makeup I wore it a lot because first of all I was learning second of all I wanted to look like you know beat every day like we don't want to look beat every day but the job that I'm in right now to wear makeup would be a waste of time for me personally so I don't do it every day anymore so that's my Fenty I'm gonna just blend this out a little bit more. And then from what I'm hearing or what I know, it doesn't really matter about the makeup you use, it's the tools you use. So um, that's important. So I've been, you know, using a blender because I personally like the blender. And remember, you do not rub, you dab in your face. All right, so I'm doing something a little different today. I normally don't do this, but I'm going to do it. I normally just use this for my highlighter and my thing, but I'm actually going to use this for my spots that I want to cover. Not so much of a highlighter, but just, you know, I have a lot of freckles and stuff. I like them. I don't love them, but I just want to hide some stuff. And I broke my top. So my uh, concealer, so that bothers me a little bit. But I also use Fenty concealer. Um, you know, I haven't heard anything bad about Fenty. Like everything that Rihanna comes out with so far has just been like gold for me. But that's me personally. You know, I'm into other products, like I said. But I have like, you know, I do a mixture of both. So, yes, boy. And like I said, I'm moving a bit fast because I gotta go. I know I look mad white, but <laughs> it's just the lighting. I 
silver for today. It did go in kind of bright. This is light too. Jesus. different products uh store bought in um well drugstore and neighbor so this is la colors i've been using these folks for a long time and even when i did my brows like when i first started my brows i went to the most expensive uh person which was anastasia at least from what i know at the time for my budget <laughs> it was the most expensive one that I did, and um, I love Anastasia. I'm not going to find I love it. I just couldn't afford it at the time, so it helped me outsource and by me outsourcing, I found a lot of things that I like. So, um, I still continue to use it. I still buy Anastasia products, but this is this next one, Makeup Professional. But I'm, it's cool keeping it tight. When I mean I love this one, you know why? Because it it sticks. It has like a it's just I'm not going nowhere type of brush. Like I feel like it does not move. It don't move at all. Like I could wear this, these brows and go to the gym, and it's gonna be there when I finish. So I'm just doing my little contour ones and twos ones into is putting some depth back into my my situations like i said you gotta blend in that hairline blends in that hairline and it's funny because i actually didn't change my makeup color for the winter i mean for the summer so i feel like this color is a bit light in this light but that's the thing with makeup. You can mix your color and add your colors. And a lot of people, the funny thing about me is, I know in my other videos I spoke about, you know, me going to cosmetology school and things like that. And um, when you go to cosmetology school, you get your license in makeup, but you don't get certified in makeup. It's two different things. So when you have people who said they're certified in makeup, they can only do makeup. That doesn't mean they only know how to do makeup. It just means they're only licensed to do makeup. As for people who are doing both, what's up, honey? My honey is coming in here. 
people who are um like since cosmetologists they can actually do both they can do hair and makeup but they're only really taught uh hair so when we go to cosmetology school they actually only teach us one day in makeup so you kind of got to figure it out but i know a lot of girls that do youtube pages that get booked and never step foot in either one so it's really about what you learn on your way tips and tricks and sometimes just figuring this stuff out but i did both <laughs> so you know <laughs> this thing don't go nowhere on your face. Nowhere. So, I'm going to let that sit only for like a second because this makeup already is kind of bright for me. But, once I start going, I'm going to go back in. And make it, you know... do a get ready well a tutorial I'm gonna give you more in depth of what I'm doing I'm gonna wipe this away I don't bake for long I do not bake for long child I don't bake for long but I go through put some browns in my in my skin in my skin in my skin in my skin mm, mm. alright I'm about to wrap this up because he just came in here and he's like, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I'm going to put some more in this area. You know that neck, I'm going to wear this. I think I'm going to wear this shirt that I actually have one. We got to make sure the neck matches the face, you know. You don't want one of those situations. Just recording for about 15 minutes and didn't even realize the camera was 
it's even recording so um this is my finished look this is like my fifth take of the ending i'm just trying to show you guys what i finished doing okay this is the look uh we on our way out so you know everything is rushed it's not like i could go back and go you know finish the video but we're on our way out um i just want you to like subscribe you know the regular things that you're supposed to do when you like a video or if you don't like it thumbs down whatever uh you know impression is an impression um also um my next video i'm gonna do is gonna be on brows only only brows because brows are like significant to your look your brows and your, and your lashes eyes i really think so um i'm gonna do like a really detailed 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 um tutorial on brows where brows look good for what situation what type of brows to use for your makeup what type of makeup to use for your brows depending on where you're going where you're at and this the the climate the weather outside because all of that plays a, a part on what you should be you know using to applicate for application so um like subscribe you know hit me back and i'm going to be answering questions if you have any questions concerning brows drop it under this video and i or you can dm me email me get in contact with me shannon before it and you can have um have your questions ready and i'll just read them back while i'm doing my brow tutorial so um hope you like it guys Get it, get it, get it. Ah, uh, got it. Good. Okay. Bye, guys. You want to say bye, baby? A man of little words. All right. Peace out, peace out.